It's a feeling you get when you're in the air. You can't actually explain it. It's just when you get up there, you're free from the world. You're in another place, another world that's out there. You could be looking at the world and you realize how small it actually is. The Wright brothers explained it. The world is viewed better from above. One doesn't know how great aviation is until you view from above. It's the greatest feeling in the world. You have control over the airplane the whole time. You can go left, go right, up, down, whatever you want to do. As long as you follow the rules of the road, so to speak, I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want. The first time I took off, it was like being on top of the world. You look down and everything looks so small. Freedom it was, it's wonderful. It's just really cool. It's exciting. It's like, it's like a challenge. I love everything about aviation. To me, it's my life. I can't see doing anything else. It's always been a dream, like I said, and uh, doing anything else couldn't come even close to what I do now. You either love it or, or it's not for you. And when I went up, I just thought I could be doing this for the rest of my life. And that I wasn't going to have a desk job, so this was a wonderful opportunity. It's pretty cool because just knowing that you're the one controlling the airplane, and especially when you're soloing and there's no instructor there, you're up there and you get the great view and, you know, it's you making it happen. I'm a captain for, um, for a regional airline based out of Newark, New Jersey. I'm a co-pilot in, in a 737, Boeing 737, for the major airline that flies out of uh, Newark, New Jersey. Originally, uh, I grew up in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is right next door to Newark Airport. And I always had about, probably about a five minute, two minute drive really from the airport itself. Always had planes flying over, always saw them, always wanted to go to visit the airport just to say, hey look, these are the planes, this, this looks fun, this looks like something I want to do in my life. I didn't have too much money to really start off. I noticed that Mercer County Community College had a great program and rather inexpensive and was really able to help out a lot of the local kids from the state. If you don't have the money, there are student loans out there, there are grants, I got scholarships, so a lot of, I think a lot of people think, oh, it's too expensive, flying is too expensive, I can't do it, especially for minorities. I would like to encourage minorities to get into, into, the, into the program, especially if that's what they want to do, because the resources are out there. And that's another thing that Mr. Blasingston is so knowledgeable, he's been doing this for so long, that he will put you in the right direction to, to get the money that you need. I called up the airport, like, about five minutes away from my house and asked how much it would cost. Told me about 5000 for your private and, and 20000 plus for your commercial and I was like, uh, changed my mind and then I just kept doing business classes and then my teacher was reading a quote in my marketing class one day and was like, find a job you like doing and you'll never have to work a day again. So I was like, why not try it? You know, it's probably going to be worth the money if it's really what I enjoy doing and if it make me happy for the rest of my life. So I decided to switch and started immersing in the next semester and I've so far I've been enjoying it very much. Everyone can be a pilot. If, if they're determined enough to want to fly and they're able to put forth the effort to want to do it, anybody can do it. Well, I have 2400 eyesight. I'm practically blind, but I'm correctable at 2020. So eyesight in the civilian world is something that won't affect people. When I was uh, a flying instructor, I taught a, a 65 year old guy how to fly airplanes. So. It doesn't matter how old you are or what background you come from. Anybody can, can be a pilot. You, all you need is dedication. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of hard work to start off, though, and you need to discipline yourself in order to make sure that you do put in all the work. But uh, anyone can be a pilot. Anyone can do it, and if someone has that dream, they should definitely follow it. You can solo as young as, I think it's 16 years old. I mean, you can't get your license till you're 17, but, I mean, you know, 16-year-olds can even solo by themselves. I mean, so young kids, uh, people who already have jobs that want to fly, they can get into it, definitely. It's not hard to do. My name is Joe Blazingsay. I'm the coordinator of aviation programs here at the Mercer County Community College. This is a program, really, that requires one heck of a commitment by the student. It's not a situation in which, you know, I can become a pilot by osmosis. There's a great deal of study, and there's a great deal of uh, activity that's involved with it. I knew this, this was my dream in my life, so I had to get everything together. And believe it or not, in high school I didn't study. And when I get to college, studied every day. You don't, I don't, I don't want to say I don't have a life, but if you really want to commit to this, you have to hit the books a lot. What makes the program great is just how close everybody is. Uh, you get to know everybody in the program. Uh, you get to know all the professors. 
uh, the instructors up at the airport. Um, just knowing everybody just makes it that much funner, I guess. Not only that, but it's got great teachers, Miss Jones, Mr. B, uh, Mr. Cool. I think the best part of this program is that we're like a family. We're not an overwhelmingly large group. We're not by numbers. We can call each other. We're always there for each other. We hang out not only at school, but at the airport, and we're just a really close-knit group of people. This is one of the best programs that, that there are out there. Um, it's, um, it's economical, and the people that run the program, Joe Blasistein, Diane Lovin, and all of those guys, they do a wonderful job. They will help you out. Uh, it's not like going to a huge university where there's thousands and thousands of, of students that you just get lost. And if you have a problem, you sometimes you don't know who to turn to. Uh, here at Mercer, is, is they become family. What I think makes this program so great is the people. My professors, Mr. Blazenstein, I respect him so much. They're like your family. Everybody's your family, Diane, our advisor. She's like my mother. I think she's my second mother. Fun instructors like Evan. Evan's always helped me out through my life, and I think I respect Evan. I think he's like a big family. You have a blast. Uh, the, the professors, they were fantastic. Uh, they absolutely give you everything you need. Um, very patient, uh, very professional. Um, they interact with you on a personal level that is paramount. When it comes to flying aer airplanes, it's expensive, but it's doable. Um, I didn't have any money. My parents didn't have any money, and and I did it. So, and I think anybody can do it. That's the first question that you asked me, and I think anybody can do it if they have the dedication and the passion for it. They can do it. If this is your dream, I highly recommend do this career. This is a career that is, without a doubt, um, life changing. You experience more of your dreams, your goals. Uh, it's, very, it's very fulfilling. That's the best word I could say. It's a very fulfilling career. Um, I've done many jobs in my past and nothing like this job makes me get out of bed and want to go to work. Uh, you know, you have your high days, your low days, uh, like any job, but overall, I can't see doing anything else and I highly recommend this career and this program. Good luck, keep it going, work hard. Follow that dream. Keep the dream alive. I remember once actually there was a pilot who I first spoke to a long time ago and I asked him, I said, how do I get your job? He told me the whole thing. He said, go to your community, go to a college. You could do it in the military if you want. Go to a college that's less expensive and less, less time consuming. And the, as he walked away, he says, he says, keep that dream and follow that dream. And that's what I remember he saying. I remember him saying that and I've, I've always remembered him saying that and walking away and I said, I gotta, I gotta make sure I follow that dream then. Just work hard and make sure that it all happens and everything eventually will fall into place. If you have that dream, set that goal and do everything right and um, you, you, will be, you will end up where you need to be, where you want to be. Basically, you're not going to be sitting in the classroom and listening to lectures. You're going to be going out and doing things. The exciting part about it is that uh, it's not a theory kind of thing. It's a situation where you, you go out and actually do. Right now, with the job situation here in the United States and throughout the world, uh, pilots are being hired at uh, uh, unheard of rates that uh, we haven't seen uh, since the 1960s. Not only is it here in the United States, but it's worldwide. And uh, the opportunities are rampant.